Jessica here. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to share with you about peppermint essential oil today. There are so many ways that we can use peppermint essential oil from cooking to supporting your respiratory system, supporting the digestive system, giving you a great pick me up at the end of the day when you're starting to feel a little sluggish. Lots of great options for using this amazing essential oil. Before I jump into ways that we use peppermint, I want to share with you some fun and interesting facts about doTERRA's peppermint essential oil. So it takes three pounds of peppermint plant in order to create one 15 milliliter bottle of peppermint essential oil. It is also sourced right here in the United States where the environment is the best to give us the purest and the cleanest and the most um, optimal essential oil that we can benefit from. Some of the chemical constituents in peppermint essential oil are cleansing, cooling, and soothing. So just think of this oil as a great oil that's going to help cleanse, cool down the body, and soothe those muscles. So before I get into ways that we use it, be sure to stick around to the end and I'm going to show you how to download my free essential oil recipe sheet. It's going to give you lots of great recipes for ways that you can use not only peppermint but many other essential oils into your daily routine to support your body in a natural way. So let's get into how we use peppermint essential oil. So the first way that you can use it is for tension. If you're experiencing any head tension, muscle tension, you need some soothing and you need your body to kind of loosen up a little bit, Applying essential oil to the spot where you're feeling tension is a great way to help support your body. Another way that you can use it is to help cool the body down. We all experience times when our body temperature is, is higher than it should be. That could be maybe because there's uh, something going on in the body, maybe our, our immune system is trying to fight something, or maybe it's just a hot day and you've been out on the field um, playing soccer or your kids playing basketball and you need to cool down the body. A great way to do this is to add a few drops to a spray bottle with some water and spray it right onto the body. You can also just take a few drops and apply it to the back of the neck and the forehead and on the bottoms of the feet to help the body to naturally cool itself down. When I say apply it in a spray bottle to be able to spray on the body, you can also take that same exact spray bottle that has peppermint essential oil and water in it and use it to spray in the corners of your house in order to repel bugs. Yes, peppermint essential oil is actually a natural bug repellent, so keep it on hand. I actually went camping this summer and brought a spray bottle of water and peppermint with me to spray all inside my A-frame so I could ward off those little pesky bugs that I did not want in my sleeping environment. Another way that we can use peppermint essential oil is as a pick-me-up. Peppermint is very invigorating. It's going to help give you a little extra perk. I'm sure if you chew gum or a breath mint, you can feel that little quick pick-me-up. So peppermint will do the exact same thing. You can take one drop and drop it in your mouth. You can just simply open the bottle and breathe it in a few times and you can feel that minty menthol going into your airways and really helping to kind of give you a little bit of pep. And in, in addition to diffusing it for alertness and to breathing it in from the bottle, you can also use it to support your respiratory system. One way that I love to use it to open up my respiratory system really quickly is I will actually just take the bottle, open it up, put one drop in the palm of my hand, then I will take my thumb, stick it into that drop, and stick it to the roof of my mouth. When I do it that way, it's actually going to go into, you can feel it in your breath, you can feel it in your mouth. It's also going into your olfactory system, into your nose, into your respiratory system. You can feel it going down your throat and instantly it's going to start opening your airways. Then you take those hands, you cup them together, be sure not to touch your eyes, and you're just going to cup it over your nose and your mouth and you're just going to breathe in a few times. I don't know if you noticed, but the first time I took a breath in, my nose was a little bit stuffy. I've been experiencing some allergies recently. And so I was able to, as I took my second, third, and fourth breath, I could feel my airways opening up and just kind of clear a little bit. So 
Peppermint essential oil is really great to open and clear the respiratory system for more easy breathing. The final way that I wanted to share with you for using peppermint essential oil is to support the digestive system. We all experience digestive discomfort from one time to another, and using peppermint essential oil is a great way to support your body when you're having some digestive discomfort. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can add a drop to a small glass of water and drink it. You can just simply put one drop under your tongue or you can just apply peppermint right onto your abdomen. Several options to choose from when it comes to supporting the digestive system. Sometimes with essential oils, we have to play around and figure out which way our body's gonna respond better. For me, when it comes to my digestive system and using the essential oils, my body responds better when I actually apply the essential oils topically. But maybe for you, your body will respond better when you take the essential oil in internally. So you just gotta kinda figure out which way your body's going to respond better. I almost forgot to mention, another way that you can use peppermint essential oil is by cooking with it. Adding it to your favorite smoothie, adding it to any of your baked goods. I've actually added it to my brownies before to make a peppermint brownie and it absolutely tastes amazing. Plus you're not adding any artificial chemicals to your cooking. So I hope you learned a few new tips and tricks for using peppermint essential oil and that you will go give one of them a try today. Thanks so much for watching. As I promised, I am going to show you how to download my free recipe guide. There's a link just below the title of this video. Please click on that link and download the free recipe guide and start trying some of those recipes today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be notified every time I add a new video. See you later.